Everyone, we are here and we've talked about the speed of light and how long it takes information to get to you, but I think there's a problem. Uh, there is a problem. I, I can't see anything you're saying. I can't see anything either. I know that I'm here, but why are we having such an issue seeing things? Well, obviously, the light that's traveling is not getting to us. And then it's not getting to our camera. If we're in a completely dark room, you can't see anything. I can't see anything. So light is the only thing that we can actually see and perceive. So let's get some light. Oh, so now... There you I are. Can, there you are. <laughs> so we've been here the whole time, but now that light has entered the room, it is now well, illuminating us. It's a very illuminating subject. Yes. So we want to talk about the nature of light, how light actually moves. We know how quickly it moves, but how does it get from one place to another, and how do we actually perceive what we're seeing in front of us? Yeah, so let's take a look at light in a box. So what we're seeing here is a flashlight. You can see I can turn it on and off, and we have a box. I've turned the flashlight on, and I've put it in the box. Can you see the light? I cannot. Why not? Because uh, it's not getting in my eyes. So oh, you. wait. Now it is. So the only way to actually see the light is to be in the direct path of the light. And that would be being inside this box. So again, here's the flashlight on. And you can see I'm shining it off the wall. How am I able to see the light now? Well, think of light as straight lines, a series of straight lines. If any of those straight lines of light hit you in the eyes, then you can see the light. So if it's aiming at you, you can see it. If it's bouncing at you, you can see it. So like those balls bouncing off the ground here, that light, that particle of light is hitting the wall and rebounding into our eyes. Oh wow, so light is like a particle. So now what are we seeing here? Well, we're seeing two lasers, but we can only see the beams hit the walls and the reflections. I don't see any of the light actually in the air between the light on the wall and the light from the laser. Until you see that smoke coming in. So now when the smoke comes in, you really get into it, and I can now see the beam of light going from the laser pointer all the way to the wall, especially in night mode. Absolutely. So you're getting reflections from the particles of fog, which are causing the light beams to be able to come to your eyes. So that is a way that we can show that light is traveling in straight lines and acting as particles. So that's what we're talking about when we look at something like this. This is an image taken from Hubble that shows many, many sources of light. As a matter of fact, this is a place that's normally dark to the human eye, and when you look at it through a telescope, which collects light, it's collecting a lot more light than we thought was there. So the light that's coming from out there in space is heading towards us, like we've seen, in straight lines, entering our eye, and then we can actually see it. And that's really what astronomy is. It's the study of the universe, anything in the universe, celestial bodies, and the way we study that is by collecting light. It's the only way we know about anything that's out there in space. It's the only way you can see anything. That's true. It turns out that we can create a model of light that's a particle because we know light travels in straight lines. Those lines can come from a number of places. One of the places it can be the source of the light and those particles will come straight at you from whatever's producing the light. Um, but it can also bounce off of things and become illuminated and bounce off of an object to your eyes. But those lines have to hit you to be able to see. So they travel in straight paths. They act as these little particles, these little tennis balls that can bounce off things and go towards your eye. These little photons are these packets of energy. Those are the particles that Newton thought light was made of. And multiple rays come off of all sources, whether it is the source light that's emitting the light or whether it's a non-luminous thing that reflects the light. So when I see your face right next to me here, it's because there's light coming from the ceiling in a straight path, bounces off your head and right into my eyeball. Happens every day until the lights go out. So like we said before, light is the only thing we see. And now that it's gone, I don't Thank see goodness. You. Thank goodness I don't see you. See you next time. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs>